We have breaking news coming in. Congress has demanded deputy speaker posts in the all-party meet that's taking place in Delhi. Opposition raises Kavar Yatra diktat, Manipur violence in the meet. Of course, the stage is set for a fiery budget session tomorrow. That's the latest breaking news we're getting. Congress has demanded deputy speaker posts in the all-party meet. Opposition has raised Kavar Yatra diktat, Manipur violence in the meet. latest breaking news. Congress has demanded the deputy speaker post in the all-party meet taking place in Delhi. The opposition has raised Kavar Yatra diktat and Manipur violence in the meet. Rahul Gautam is joining us on the phone line. Rahul, could you give us more clarity on uh, what exactly the opposition has demanded at the meet? So primarily there are three issues that uh, uh, that the opposition uh, uh, has made a rallying point sort of and they're going to uh, seek uh, discussion uh, in the upcoming session of the parliament. Uh, clearly, uh, the issue of uh, you know, naming shops on the covered route uh, this was one of the main issues that were raised by at least two political parties, including Samajwadi Party. Apart from this, we've been informed that uh, JDU has uh, uh, has asked uh, for a special status uh, for the state of Bihar. Similarly, YSRCP uh, and the floor leader also demanded that a similar status should be extended to Andhra Pradesh. While the Congress Party has demanded that meat issue uh, should be discussed prominently. So... Right, so that's the latest breaking news. Congress has demanded the deputy speaker post in the all-party meet. The opposition has also raised the Kavar Yatra diktat and the Manipur violence in the meet. Rahul Gautam is with us on the phone line. Rahul, give us more details on uh, what went down at the meet. Well, you know, uh, different political parties who were represented by their four leaders uh, came loaded with, uh, you know, uh, many issues. For example, Samaj Party Party uh, took a very strong objection uh, to the recent order, order that was made by the UP government of naming shops uh, on the Kabul route. And uh, in fact, the Congress Party's uh, Gaurav Gogai, who is also the deputy leader in Lok Sabha, has demanded that uh, since speaker post has already been, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, given to the, uh, to the treasury benches, so therefore the deputy speaker should now go uh, to opposition benches as, as it has always been a convention. Uh, apart from this, we've been uh, learning from our sources that Manipur issue was also raised by uh, Congress MPs. Uh, at least two political parties, JDU and YSRCP, they sought uh, uh, status of uh, special status for their respective players, that is Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. So you can expect that it's going to be a stormy session, and uh, uh, the opposition bloc has made it very clear that uh, the onus to run uh, both the houses of the parliament lies on the part of the government, and therefore they should take them on board, should discuss all the issues that have been kept forward by these political parties, but expect that it's going to be a stormy session given the fact that the opposition parties will be coming loaded with various issues and you can expect that they would try to corner the government on uh, on issues like Manipur, NEET, UPSC, uh, 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 you know, unemployment, right. covered route, all these issues are going to be high on the right, right, Rahul, we'll come back to you for more on this. We have live reactions coming in. Let's listen in. So he's very much part of the process of the parliamentary party of the Biju Janta Dal now. Apart from that, there were three or four major issues that was raised by the BJD today on the floor of the all-party meeting. Odisha has been deprived of the special category status for more than two decades. Biju Janata Dal has been constantly demanding for the special category status for Odisha. In the all-party meeting, we had political parties from Bihar and Andhra Pradesh also demanding special category status for their respective states. Biju Janata Dal has demanded for special category status for Odisha. 
we join issue with our other counterparts from other states as well who feel there is a similar need required for their respective states. The second issue is the non-revision of the coal royalty for the state of Odisha over the last 10 years. In terms of rural housing, more than 20 lakh houses have not been provided to the state of Odisha. In terms of tribal development, more than 162 communities are deprived of the ST list. The coastal highway of Odisha has not been built so far. In terms of connectivity, railways, highways, telecom, digital, and banking. These are services that are still deprived from the state of Odisha in many measures. And one of the key areas, this is about federalism, and we did raise the issue about the declining central transfers of funds to states and the need to actually work towards it. Last but not the least is the issue of the governor of Odisha. The governor of Odisha, his son, a few days back had beaten up a Rajbhavan staff. He was examined. The, the, the staffer who was there, he was beaten up. There was a medical examination done. A fire was filed. But till now, the ASO who was there, who was actually done, was not, no action has been taken against the governor's son. Right. So, one of the issues that we raised was that the governor of Odisha, his son, had assaulted an ASO who was a staff in the Raj Bhavan. And Rahul Gupta is patched with us on the phone line. Rahul, uh, give us more clarity on uh, what other. Uh, uh, what other issues the uh, opposition has raised in the all-party meet? Well, you know, as far as principal opposition party is concerned, Congress party uh, demanded that deputy speaker post should be given to Congress party uh, as it has been a precedent uh, uh, in, in the previous sessions, uh, in the previous Lok Sabhas. And uh, that demand was raised by Mr. Gaurav Gogai, who is the deputy speaker of Congress party in Lok Sabha. Apart from this, uh, uh, you know, the law and order situation which is prevailing in the state of Bihar, it was also uh, raised by uh, you know opposition parties. Apart from this, the naming of shops alongside the uh, Kavad Yatra route. Uh, this issue was raised by uh, Samajwadi Party. Uh, uh, Samajwadi Party's leader Ram Gopal Yadav, who took a very strong objection to this uh, recent order of the UP government. Apart from this, at least two political parties, that is JDU and YSRCP, demanded that a special status should be given to. Uh, Bihar and Andhra Pradesh respectively. So you can expect, and apart from this, Congress leaders also raised the issue of Manipur. Uh, so you can expect that uh, the upcoming session of, uh, you know, of parliament is going to be a stormy one, given the fact that opposition is going to come loaded with issues like need, UPSC, unemployment, uh, you know, uh, the alleged attack on federal structure of the country. So you can expect that this, this, all these are going to be rallying point, uh, rallying points as far as far as India block is concerned and they would try to corner the government on this issue. Uh, the government has made it very clear that they are ready to discuss any issue, uh, you know, under the sun, given the fact that there is law and order and decorum in the house. And in fact, opposition is now trying to exert more and more pressure on the government that issues which they claim are of, uh, uh, you know, public importance should be given uh, you know, time uh, time slots and should be discussed in both the houses of the parliament. So, uh, and, and and opposition benches have also made it very clear that the, the onus to run the uh, run the house lies on the part of the government. Therefore, they should they, they, they should concede the ground and should take all these issues into the uh, you know uh, into the uh, in, into the legislative business of the houses. So you can expect that opposition parties have made it very clear that these are our issues which we're going to waive and they should be given uh, space uh, in, in, in the in the uh, in the debates as far as parliament is concerned so we have to really wait and watch that how the government is going to accommodate these demands of the of the opposition parties and and will really ensure and how they're going to ensure that the uh, that the business of the houses are not affected right thanks rahul for giving us all those details